The Clove Hitch Killer is a 2018 thriller which revolves around a teenage boy called Tyler who starts to suspect that his own father might be a local serial killer who has been inactive for the past 10 years and goes by the name of Clove Hitch. Uh, I liked this one a lot. Um, it wasn't perfect and it was a little bit different to other sort of serial killer thrillers um, that I've seen in the past, but um, it was tense. It was really, really tense. Dylan McDermott was great. Um, he was, a lot of the time when he was around the family, he was this sort of goofy, kind of dorky dad um, that, you know, you see all the time. Um, oh, something to mention is the family, they're very Christian, they're very involved with the church. Um, he's involved with the church and he's also um, leads, I think, the Boy Scouts or the Eagles or whatever they're called. Um, that his son attends. So uh, half the time he was kind of dorky and then other times he was genuinely quite intimidating um, without really saying anything threatening. It was just the way he came across to his own son. Um, so yeah, he did a great job. I'm, I'm not usually a fan of Dylan McDermott, actually. I, I, there's something about him that kind of annoys me. <laughs> um, but I thought he was great in this. In fact, I didn't even recognize him for the first like 30 seconds of the film. So I've, I went on, I went on Reddit, like after I watched this, don't judge me, I do it all the time. Um, but I wanted to see what people were saying about it. And it sounded like a lot of people were divided on this. Um, a lot of people didn't like the acting of the son. Um, they thought, you know, he he was really dry and was not giving much, but I think that was the character. And I've known a few sort of boys when I was a teenager. Um, my very first boyfriend was in like a very Christian family um, and you know all his like church friends who are boys they, they all kind of have this attitude and you know not that it's bad they were very polite and but this guy he um, you know he's well behaved and it's good because you can see that he's actually going against his instincts to even question someone like his his own father you know he's he's been told not to question it to believe that his dad is, is is a good person and that good people good christians can't do things like this so, yeah i actually liked his character and it made it a bit more tense you're not sure it, how he's actually going to react if he's going to like have the balls to do certain things um, girl for me i can't remember her name i'm sorry um, she was okay. I think it was the way she was written. She was like, uh, this, a little bit edgy, a bit too edgy. That they always seem to have these kind of characters in films when it comes to a girl. They're like too edgy and they're just not likable. I thought that her obsession with Clovich was a little bit too convenient. Overall, the film was, is very tense. Um, there was a lot of scenes where I was completely holding my breath, you know, I, I wasn't actually sure what was going to happen, um, in the sense that it could kind of go one of two ways, um, but there were a lot of times where I was basically screaming at the characters, like, to call the police, and it was, dri it, it will drive you crazy, you'll just be like, why don't they just call the police, um, I guess they're kids, they're teenagers, one of them is investigating his own father, which, you know, that's a conflict in itself, so I, I do get it, but it's it's very frustrating. I would say, to wrap up, um, it's a little too convenient and a little too over the top um, to be completely realistic and to give it 
that feel of like a, um, you know, a, a zodiac or something that does come across super, super realistic. Um, but I have to say, it there's a switch up sort of two thirds of the way through, um, and it does get quite gritty, and that's when I think it the realism kicked in for me, and I was really, really getting into it more. Um, the final choice at the end, the, the very, very ending, um, it wasn't satisfying to me. I didn't like the, what they did and where they went. I understand why they did it, but for me, it's just not what I personally wanted to happen, but it, it's not terrible, but it left me a, a wanting something different. I can let that slide, because it is it is a good film. It's, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, it's tense. I just can't compare it to something like Zodiac, because it's just not in the same world, because it's, it is, there's a lot of conveniences in this film, um, a lot, and I think that does bring it down a little bit. Oh, my thing's gone out. So I'd probably give it like a, a six, I'd give it a six out of ten, I think. Maybe a six and a half at most, if I'm generous. It's a six or a six and a half out of ten. I was, I'll give it a six. It seems harsh, but... Anyway, let me know if you've seen it and what you thought and what you thought of the kids acting in particular. Um, this one seems kind of divisive, so... Oh, I almost forgot to say, um, something like super, super important about this. Um, so I love, like, true crime, um, and I didn't know anything about this film going in, but obviously like with the, the knots and you know, stuff like that. Um, and there's other things that happen later in the film and I was like, oh, okay, this is 100% um, based on like BCK, uh, Dennis Rader. So if you're into true crime, this is actually based on, loosely based on a real serial killer, so. Yeah, it's, it's, that's cool to see that brought to life. Especially because they cancelled the next season of Mindhunter, and I don't know if it's ever going to get put back on or if we're ever going to see what happens with their BTK character, because that was like building up to that, and I was so excited to finally see that. Six out of ten. Enjoy.